Stephanie here from Sweet Honey Bee Health, and I am here to do a review for you today. Um, I am going to be doing the Eden's Garden review. Some of you probably saw when I did the unboxing video on YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you today, and we'll just jump right in. So the things that I got, the items that I got from Eden's Garden were um, some body oils, and <laughs> my cat wants to be involved, uh, were some body oils, and... Um, I got some of their natural soaps, which is um, kind of a new-ish uh, product they have out. And then I also got some of their roll-ons. So I'll go ahead and start um, explaining that to you. Um, I apologize for hunching, but it looks like there's a pretty bad glare of my uh, computer and my glasses, and I don't want to kind of distract you with that. And then also, as some of you know, my husband and I are uh, full-time RVers, and so we live in our full time, our RV full time, and um, so there's limited space on where I can do my videos. Uh, I haven't really done a whole lot of YouTube videos because I kind of uh, have been focusing on on all my writing reviews and writing on my blog. But I think I'm gonna try to start doing some more. So maybe the next video or next few videos, I'll have a nicer background and I'll have more light, and it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see. But for right now. This is what we're, we're going to work with, so here we go. So, the body oils that I got, I'm going to start off and show you guys the um, the body oil set that they offer. It's It comes in a cute little box like this, and um, I really love how, I really love what all their products come in. I think the boxes themselves, you could seriously just put a bow on and that's your box because they're just so pretty. Um, so this is the little box. These are one ounce body oils and these are going to be five body oils. Now they do have an option to create your own body oil set. Um, they have more body oils than just these five. Uh, but these are the five that, um, they sent me. So, um, just keep that in mind when you go on their website. If you want to check out their body oils, if you want to do a create your own set, you can kind of mix, mix and match and make the perfect gift. So we'll go ahead and, uh, get into this. So the first one that I'm going to um, tell you guys about is a lavender magnolia. So this is what it comes in. These are little glass bottles. And um, when you take the top off, it does not have a reducer in it. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to pour out just like this. So just be aware of that. But um, a little goes a long way with this body oil, which is really nice. Because when you put it on, you're not going to be weight, you know, you're not going to be using so much where you're going to have to... Um, keep buying it over and over and over again. But I, I do like the idea that you can like try a bunch of body oils like this before uh, you buy a bigger one. So anyway, lavender magnolia is really nice. Lavender's probably uh, my one of my favorite, if not, well, I would say in my top three favorite essential oils. Um, lavender was the very first essential oil I ever received and ever used. I use um, lavender and then some other blended um, essential oils uh, to relax at night and try to help me sleep and things like that. So lavender is a wonderful scent, not only for relaxation, but it helps calm the mind. It helps just kind of um, kind of help you wind down from the day. And um, I love this oil uh, because the lavender magnolia essential oils really complement each other really, really well. Um, I'm not a big fan of a lot of floral essential oils. They tend to be a little overwhelming and too strong sometimes, and I get migraines really, really easily, and that actually is one of the reasons why I got into essential oils in the first place, um, because I just wanted um, scented oils, because I liked perfumes prior to that, um, but everything would give me a headache. So I got into essential oils, and now I realize that it's more beneficial than just for scents. So, <laughs> but... Um, so this lavender magnolia, this is this has um, their body oils have um, a wonderful blend of some really nicely uh, skin nourishing carrier oils. Going to be really good for your skin. They also have 100% pure essential oils. Um, lavender magnolia has camellia seed, apricot kernel, fractionated coconut oil, safflower oil, vitamin E. It also has lavender magnolia, bergamot, lemon, and vanilla CO2 essential oils. So. Um, it's really nice. It's, you can definitely smell the lavender magnolia and then it kind of has like underneath that, there's a really lovely scent of the vanilla. Um, 
the citrus and the bergamot comes through really subtly as well, but it's really perfectly blended oil. And that's what I like about these body oils. I don't particularly like um, a lot of scented body oil blends from other companies, to be honest with you, because a lot of the times um, it'll have one ingredient, you know, one essential oil, one fragrance in it that I really like and another that I don't. And the one that I don't is too strong and things aren't don't seem to be mixed well. But I think Eden's Garden really hit the mark on this because all of their body oil blends are blended really well. All of their scents complement each other really nicely. And they also complement each other uh, through their benefits as well. So let's go ahead and move on. We've The next one we have is Lemon Ginger. There it is. Uh, the Lemon Ginger honestly reminds me of Lemonade. And not in a... Um, not in keep smelling it because it smells like something that reminds me of, of something when I was a kid, maybe like a lemon drop or something. It's not super sweet. It's not super overpoweringly lemony. It's like I said before, and I'll probably say this 4,000 more times during this video. It's just really a really nice compliment. It doesn't smell um, like a lemon pledge or anything like that. So there's definitely not, not to worry about that. Um, I think it's a really lovely lemon ginger. I like a lemon uh, smell body oil or lemon lemon products. I, I really love the citrus, but um, depending on what you get, sometimes you do end up smelling like, you know, like a pledge cleaning product. And like, you know, nobody really wants to smell like that. So we've got camellia seed oil, apricot kernel, fractionated coconut oil, and safflower as well as vitamin E. Uh, bergamot, ginger, and lemon. So this one's pretty simple. Bergamot, ginger, and lemon. Um, lemon is a lovely essential oil if you want kind of a, a pick-me-up and an energy boost without the jitters. So it's kind of like uh, if you're not a coffee drinker but you need your pick-me-up, then I would go for a citrus oil. They're fantastic for that. Um, they're also really lovely for giving you a pick-me-up but also keeping you relaxed and keeping you alert. Um, lemon was something that I wore all the time before I had to take finals when I went to vet tech school. So that was one thing that I always loved uh, to use. Uh, Bergamot is a wonderful essential oil for anxiety relief and for stress. Ginger is a great oil for, um, I know that some of its benefits are muscle aches and pains, for stomach upset, things like that. And these three um, oils, like I said, complement each other really well. It's just a really light, mm, like like crisp, summery scent. So um, that's a really nice one as well. We're going to move on to the rose bergamot. And there's that one. So the rose bergamot, um, all of these contain the same um, blend of carrier oil. So that's going to be the camellia seed, the apricot kernel, fractionated coconut oil, safflower oil, and vitamin E. This one contains rose and bergamot, of course, and it also contains patchouli. And like I said before with, uh, like the magnolia and the floral oils, I'm not a big fan of stuff like that. Um, I like the smell. I think they're, they're really beautiful smells, but, um, it, if I just wear a floral oil or just diffuse a floral oil on its own, it gives me a headache and it just seems to be too overwhelming. One, the thing I like about, about the, the body oils that have the floral oil, like the magnolia or the rose is that they're light and subtle. That that scent still comes through. So if you enjoy those, but yet, you know, you tend to be a little more sensitive like me, I think you might like these. I did try a little bit, I would say like a drop or two of the rose bergamot just to make sure on my hand. And it actually was quite nice. I mean, I like it. I really like rose. I really like bergamot. And patchouli is I think I said sandalwood was in my top three. Patchouli is definitely up there with sandalwood. I'm more of a, I'm more into kind of the earthy smells. So, um, I do like that. Rose and bergamot are both really nice scents for uh, relaxation, for calming the mind, anxiety. Uh, patchouli also does that as well. It's a really nice calming blend. So those three kind of, uh, complement each other really well. Um, and let's see. We've got the vanilla sandalwood. I've been using this one the most. I got I have a big 
um, bottle of that and I'll show you how this comes. So these all come in glass bottles. Okay, this is a four ounce. So when you get a bigger bottle, um, the four ounce is gonna be this big. It comes with a serum pump, just like this, which I love. I got a product um, quite a while ago, many months ago, that had a serum pump like this, and I've been reusing the bottle over and over again for different oils and blends that I make myself because I love the pump so much. So it's really nice that it comes this way. Um, it, it pumps out really um, easily. It's not gonna spray and get everywhere. Um, and the vanilla sandalwood, I'm just gonna read it off the bottle. So. Like I said before, it has the camellia seed, apricot, fractionated coconut oil, safflower, and vitamin E. Then it also has, of course, uh, it has two sandalwoods. It, it has sandalwood, vanilla CO2. It also has Hawaiian sandalwood. It has magnolia, and it has myrrh. So it's got a really nice, um, I don't know why I'm trying to open that one when I could just open this one. It has to be my favorite, honestly. Out of these five, I haven't tried... Uh, some of their others, they have a huge variety of oils. I haven't tried some of the others. I'm really interested in trying. I, I'm definitely more um, uh, more likely to buy the oils now that I was able to, to see these because um, I, I'm a body oil fan. I don't normally like the scented body oils, but these are really nice. I don't normally like some body oils that um, are maybe not by more natural companies because they tend to be really greasy. And not only do I not like uh, feeling that greasy feeling, but we have cats and we, you know, live in our RV. So um, everything sticks to you because it's such a small space. And with our cats, I have three cats and one that you saw on camera, he's staring at me like he's angry. I'm talking about him. Um, his cat hair sticks to me like crazy, and I don't like oils that are super greasy, and these are not. These are really nice, really nicely moisturizing. The oils that they use, chose to use are really nourishing and great for the skin. I've actually noticed my skin is a lot smoother and softer, um, so I was really happy about that. And like I said before, a little goes a long way, so you don't have to use a whole lot, or it is going to give you a little bit of a greasy feel. Just use a little bit. Just let your body, your skin absorb it. And then you're good to go. And the last one is the Yuzu Cannabis. Smells very good. Like I said, it has the same carrier oils as I've been mentioning. The Camellia Seed, Apricot Kernel, Fractionated Coconut Oil, Safflower, and Vitamin E. All of these carrier oils are excellent for your skin. Um, vitamin E is wonderful for signs of aging. Um, apricot kernel, fractionated coconut oil, those are some really common carrier oils that are used in blends that are often used in salves and balms and things like that. They have wonderful moisturizing properties, really, really good for your skin. Um, this one has grapefruit essential oil, orange essential oil. Um, it's got hemp, yuzu, sandalwood, demania, and neroli. Um... I tend to kind of gravitate towards roll-ons that have the citrus oils in them. I just like them. They make me happy. They make me feel good. Kind of good, nice, uplifting. Uh, this one also has the hemp, and that's a really, really good um, oil for inflammatory issues, um, muscle aches and pains, things like that. Um, if you haven't uh, heard a whole lot about hemp essential oil, I would recommend that you go onto their website and check that out and see... Um, if that would be a good choice for you. Now, hemp essential oil is different than your CBD oil you may hear about. So make sure you do your research on that because hemp essential oil has no CBD and it has no THC. So um, just don't, you know, don't get that confused and it's definitely not an ingestible uh, product. Um, sandalwood is so good for uh, relaxation, for, like I said before, the sandalwood, uh, that's in a couple of these. Um, it's really good for relaxation, calming the mind, just helping you wind down at the end of the day. So that's a wonderful one um, if you want uh, those kind of properties. Now, the Yuzu Cannabis, um, it does have a... Um, it's going to smell it again. Now I've lost it. Here it is. Mm. I can definitely smell... The yuzu, I can smell the citrus, the orange, and the grapefruit. It smells really lovely. The cannabis or the hemp oil um, 
part of it, the hemp oil, you are going to be able to smell that. It's a little bit of an herbaceous smell. It's kind of earthy, um, plant, you know, a kind of a plant-like smell. It's not um, a bad smell at all. It's really nice. Um, so I actually am really happy with that one. I wasn't really sure how I would feel about that because of the strength of hemp essential oil in this, excuse me, in the scent. But that one's really nice. I like it. So let's move on to uh, Shine. So Shine is another one of the large essential oil body oils that I got. So this is the four ounce of the Shine. Um, Shine has kind of a sweet floral aroma. Um, it's really nice. It's not overpowering. So um, it's definitely something that I, I could definitely wear. Um, like I said, I just prefer the more kind of herbaceous blends, the earthy blends. So I tend to go towards those more. Um, but this is a really nice one. It has the same carrier oils as I've mentioned. It also has lavender essential oil, lavend lavendin, sorry, lavendin, lavender, sandalwood, tangerine, melissa, lang lang, elemi, and lemon myrtle. It's a very, it, it does have a sweet floral aroma. It also has a little bit of citrus coming through right at the first scent. Um, the thing about body oils, as well as pretty much anything with essential oil, if you're going to use it topically, it may smell different on me than it's going to smell on you because of everybody's different pH and the way your, um, you know, your physiology is kind of made up. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you're into more of the sweeter floral oils, you would like that one. If you're into more of the, uh, you know, earthy oils, you may like the vanilla sandalwood. Um, and honestly, I like them all and I would wear them all. Um, and like I said before, I don't like all essential oil smells. So um, I really didn't expect to like them all, but I really do. I think they're all really, really quite nice. So we're going to go ahead and move on to um, the roll-ons. I got four, I'm sorry, five roll-ons that, that I am able to try for you guys. So we've got Tranquility, uh, Citrus Cream, we've got Allure, or Allure, however you might say it. <laughs> we've got Good Morning, and we've got XOXO. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Citrus Cream. Now Citrus Cream is quite possibly... I, I can sincerely say it's probably my favorite blend ever. Um, I've tried a lot of blends, a lot of uh, single oils from various companies. I've tried a, you know, a lot of different single oils from Eden's Garden. I've tried a few blends from them. Citrus Cream is my favorite. It smells like a creamsicle in a bottle. It is like sunshine in a bottle. It makes me instantly happy. It's just um, fresh, fruity, creamy. Um, it's a really lovely one to diffuse when you kind of want to pick me up, but you don't want it to be just straight citrus. So that's really nice. This, ha this has a mixture of orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, tangerine, clementine, and vanilla CO2. And their roll-on, this particular roll-on is diluted to 10% in a fractionated coconut oil. So this is their roll-ons um, like this are ready to use. You can just twist the top off and use those. As you can see, you've got um, your roller ball on the top. Theirs, I think are plastic. I'm pretty sure they are. I have never had any problems with any of their roller balls. I know some people um, say they don't like plastic roller balls, but they seem to work just perfectly for me. So if you're... Um, kind of concerned about that. I haven't had any problems with them and I have quite a few of their blends. Um, the citrus cream also comes in an undiluted form in a 10 milliliter in I think various sizes, but the 10 milliliter is the one I have and I love diffusing that as well. It's really, really nice. I have to smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Seriously smells. It reminds me of um, the push-up pops, the orange push-up pops I used to get from ice cream trucks when I was a kid. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and move on to Good Morning. So Good Morning is another really nice um, uh, spicy citrus blend. Um, they have a few that are kind of similar, but they have 
uh, little differences. Um, like I said with the citrus cream, it's citrus and vanilla. Um, this one, let's get that in there so you can see it. It's called Good Morning. This one has peppermint, clementine, coriander seed, basil, yuzu, melissa, lime, orange, rosemary, and fractionated coconut oil. Ooh, that smells good. It's, it's kind of a spicy citrus with kind of a really lovely, um, vanilla undertone, uh, the yuzu and the melissa come through, the rosemary comes through, but it's not overpowering at all. I really like it. It's, it's a different kind of twist on a citrus. And it smells so, some of these remind me so much of stuff when I was a kid and I can't really figure out why. <laughs> but, um, this is a good blend just kind of for that, um, extra push of energy. It's, um, kind of gives you kind of an extra pep in your steps. So you can just kind of get moving. And, um, so that's a really nice blend if you're kind of into the citrus oils with a little hint of a spice. Um, that's a really nice oil to try. And they also have a good night synergy, which, um, the good morning helps with kind of getting you going in the morning. Good night kind of helps you, uh, wind down from your day. So that's, that's synergy. Um, we'll go ahead and, um, go to our next one. So our next one is Tranquility. I've been using this one quite a bit. I've used them all, of course, but I've been using the Tranquility quite a bit. It does have lavender in it. I am a huge fan of anything with lavender in it. Um, definitely, like I said, one of my favorite oils. Um, I like anything that is going to help me kind of relax. I have anxiety, so I like to, to choose blends that help with anxiety. Um, this one has that. It's got some um, warm notes and some floral notes as well. Um, it's a, a blend of lavender, cedarwood, both great for anxiety, uh, reducing effects, also for kind of calming the mind and helping to relax you. It's got lang lang, sweet marjoram, chamomile, vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla CO2, and this one is, is diluted with fractionated coconut oil as well. So this is ready to go, ready to use. I can definitely smell the lavender the strongest, um, but it, you know, and I do use lavender, just, just, uh, their lavender roll on, which is diluted. I use that just alone, but I kind of like the different blends just for a change and also to avoid sensitive, sensitive, sensitization so that I'm not using the same thing every night. It's nice to kind of change it up and have a nice blend. So if you're looking for something that's relaxing, it's going to help, you know, calm your mind, calm your thoughts. I think this is a great option for you. Um, and they do have some other kind of relaxing uh, blends as well. So check those out. But I really like this Tranquility. Um, lavender and Cedarwood are excellent. Um, I personally don't smell some of the... Um, like, I don't really smell the Lang Lang. I'm not a fan of Lang Lang. And I personally don't smell it. Maybe you will. Um, like I said, everybody's different, so just keep that in mind. Next one we are going to take a look at is the Allure. Or Allure. <laughs> Never really know how to say that. Um, the Allure um, has a spicy, sweet aroma. It has kind of different layers with all of the, the different oils it has in it. So we've got bergamot, uh, lang lang, patchouli. Uh, we've got jasmine, cinnamon bark, cistus, vetiver, sandalwood, rose, and fractionated coconut oil. So... Um, Now, I personally smell the patchouli the most. Maybe that's because I love patchouli and I wear it a lot. And I wear that almost kind of as a perfume. I just love the smell of it. It reminds me of when I was a kid because it was my favorite all-time thing I wore when I was a kid. The patchouli and then I would also wear sandalwood and sometimes I'd mix those. That's the first thing I smell. It's a nice, floral, earthy smell. It definitely is a really lovely smell to kind of relax you, but I think also, I 
gosh, everything smells so familiar. <laughs> I think also just to kind of bring up natural feelings of, you know, self-love and, um, and a lovely, beautiful self-image. And that's a one wonderful things about patchouli, about sandalwood, about rose and jasmine. Those are wonderful um, things to use to, um, to not only um, boost your self-esteem, but also make you feel beautiful and sexy. Uh, last one is the XOXO Synergy, which I'm glad I got a chance to try because I had never um, gotten to try it. Um, I was a little bit hesitant on trying it because it does have some of the floral oils in it that I wasn't too sure about. Um, I'm just really sensitive to those. Um, but I was able to get that and it actually smells better than I expected. It's a little bit spicy, which I like. It's got cardamom, cinnamon bark, ginger, clove bud, sandalwood, jasmine, vanilla CO2, D Damiana, I can never pronounce that right, and fractionated coconut oil. Normally with uh, jasmine and the Damiana, I'm a little bit sensitive, and so I don't really like to use those alone. I don't even really diffuse them very often. Um, I love the way they smell, but they just affect me and get, kind of give me a headache. But this, I'm, I'm smelling more of the spices, the cardamom, the cinnamon bark, the clove. I'm smelling more of those first. So um, if, you're, if, you're, if you want some of the more sensual, uh, sensuality-inducing kind of oils, then you're, you're going to, but you don't really, excuse me, want the floral oils to be kind of the, uh, the strongest note, then this would be a good um, option for you because it's a little bit more of a spicy uh, smell, but um, I think the spiciness of the, like the cinnamon bark, the ginger, the clove, the cardamom, those are toned down a little bit with the jasmine, with the sandalwood and the vanilla. So um, it's a really nice one. Pleasantly surprised. This one was the one that I actually tried last because I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I actually like it quite a bit. So um, those are the roll-ons. So I'll go ahead and do last but not least the soaps. Really excited about this. Um, I'm a huge bar soap fan. I have been using um, a different company, uh, company's bar soap uh, by the name of Plant Life, and they were pretty much the only um, free plug for plantlife.net. They don't have affiliate program or anything. I just love their products. Um, they're pretty much the only one that I had used for many years. I've used them for as long as I can possibly remember. Love their bar soaps. They're all natural bar soaps. So when Eden's Garden came out with bar soaps, so this is one of the, this is the charcoal soap. When they came out with bar soaps, I was ecstatic because I love Eden's Garden as well. And I love um, different soaps in different companies. And I've tried, um, I've, I've got these two soaps that have not been tried yet. I've been smelling them because I know what they smell like. But they also sent me an earthen wood. And that is amazing. It's one of my favorites. It's got some vetiver in it. And that's one of my absolute favorites. So if you get a chance to try their soaps, please do. Anyway, so they've got a charcoal soap. If you're not familiar with charcoal soap, you've most likely heard of charcoal being used um, for the body for, for detox purposes. Um, and they've got a, a charcoal soap, which is wonderful for that. It's made with 100% essential oils. Um, it has the benefits of essential oils. Um, it's cold process, and that helps to... Um, uh, keep the nutrients in the in the in the soap from leaving the soap through heat. So, <laughs> and um, made in the USA, this has antioxidant, exfoliant, anti 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 inflammatory properties. Um, a charcoal soap is pretty much one I kind of always have around. I don't use it every day because I do like um, some of the other scented soaps. But when um, my feel when my skin is feeling like it needs a, a bit of a you know, a deep cleanser, a detox, a charcoal soap is definitely the way to go. Also, if you have problem skin, um, charcoal soap is really good for that. Um, if you want to kind of get away from the chemical um, products and kind of go for something more natural, charcoal soap is excellent for that. It has a really um, nice earthy scent to it. It's not super strong. It's, it's really kind of earthy and refreshing. So I enjoy the charcoal. And then we've got the Lavender Magnolia, just like the um, body oil. So here's the Lavender Magnolia. 
It's a lighter soap. And it smells exactly like body oil. It smells very, very good. Um, lovely lavender smell. Not overpowering. Really nice. Um, I was using the um, Earth and Wood uh, soap. And I actually noticed that um, when I was done using it and I was all dried off, my skin felt really soft, really um, nourished and moisturized. And it did not. And the thing I love about more natural soaps like Eden's Garden is that it doesn't leave a film. Um, I used to use soaps like Dove and Ivory and Olay and all those, but I always felt like it kind of left a soap scummy film on my skin. So that's one other reason why I went to natural soaps because my skin is really, really sensitive, um, especially going from different climates, traveling a lot. Um, it's hard to get my skin balanced and it not be really, really dry one minute and then really, really oily the next. And I feel like the natural soaps really help with that. Um, they don't, you know, they rinse really cleanly. They don't leave uh, that film on your skin. So it's a really nice option. And I'm really glad that Eden's Garden is coming out with all this new stuff because I'm the type of person that likes to shop, you know, one place for everything I need. And they've got your essential oils, your body oils, your natural soaps. And they just came out yesterday, I believe, with perfumes, all natural perf perfumes, maybe with essential oils. So check those out if you get a chance. So that's it, guys. That's it for Eden's Garden. Um, but that's not all. Wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm doing a giveaway. I am going to be giving away this lovely four ounce uh, shine body oil. All free for you just for watching. <laughs> well, you kind of have to do more than that. But all I need you to do is go to the blog, sweethoneybehealth.com. There will be a contest up. Enter the contest. All you're going to have to do is put in your name, your name and email, and I'm going to choose a winner randomly who's going to um, enter, who's going to win the Shine Body Oil. Show that to you one more time. So go on Eden's Garden and check out their body oils. Check out Shine. See if it's something you'd like. If it's not something you'd like, enter anyway and give it away as a gift. Pay it forward. <laughs> I think you'll love it. I think it's fantastic. Um, and I mean, you know, I might throw in something else. I don't know. Maybe a body oil. Maybe a roll-on that I didn't open or use. I mean, um, most of these roll-ons... Um, like I said, I used the Tranquility, and I basically opened the rest of them to smell. Go on to the website, sweethoneybeehealth.com, sign up for the contest, um, and check out Eden's Garden. The links to Eden's Garden as well as Sweet Honey Bee Health will be at the bottom of this, of this page in the description, bottom of the video in the description. And you can go on to Eden's Garden and buy some awesome stuff for yourself while um, helping support me at the blog, which I really appreciate. When you click on affiliate links, um, it is no extra cost to you. I may earn a small commission, but that commission helps me make videos, helps me um, be able to do giveaways, helps me be able to uh, keep things going so I can give you guys awesome content and do these awesome giveaways. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. And don't miss your chance to I keep opening it and wanting to show you. Don't miss your chance to win the Shine Body Oil from Eden's Garden. Um, uh, you just need to go to my blog and sign up. And then check out Eden's Garden in the link in the description below. And um, stay tuned for more product reviews from more amazing companies. Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe. Please share. Please like. Please tap that little notification icon so you can be notified anytime I post new videos. I will be posting some more new videos, um, and hopefully uh, next time I'll have better better lighting. I plan on doing some outside in our beautiful campground, and um, that should be it. So have a wonderful day. Bye. Mm -hmm.